the press area. And so we can get live on Hatter's player. Your thoughts on that 2-1 uh, victory over Crew Alexandra this afternoon? You give me your thoughts. Tell me. Oh, fantastic. I'm absolutely buzzing. It's been brilliant. What a was... performance. Ten men, goal down, battling spirit, kept going. Superb. Honestly, superb. So proud. I, I say this quite a lot and I'm so proud of them. And to be fair, we were brave again. Mm. Kept two up top. We wanted to win the game. We felt we were good enough to win the game. Even with ten. I thought we were outstanding to a man, absolutely. From a goalkeeper with late punches, coming for it, brave. Two centre arse, did superbly well. Little Jack Senior came on with telling contributions. Pelly Ruddock, middle of the pitch, did superbly well. Jake Gray with another goal. Hilton with an immense performance. Marriott, a bit of danger. Every single one of them, just delighted, absolutely delighted. But wonderful performance, wonderful. I mean, it, it didn't start too well going at a goal down, but Jack Marriott popped up just before half time at a great yeah. time to, to equalise. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. had a little bit of fortune. Yes, he's had to take the chance and take the shot, but at the near post, you would have hoped the keeper, from a crew perspective, should have done better. But how many times are you going to say that in an interview? What we're saying is when he, he gets it, he, he, he's, he's at a low centre yeah. of gravity and he rifles them low, low and hard, right near the keeper. They're difficult to save. It's, it's a talent that the boy's got. But we felt we were, we were disappointed with the goal because it came from. That's losing 50-50 in midfield, again, so we'd be disappointed with that, but... And then sort of caught and just shape-wise, we caught too high in, in certain things, but then we thought we were excellent. And to be fair, sure, and actually it should be more, Yeah. because we've, we've had some great chances with 10 men. Mm. So look, not to take away anything, not to overplay it, it's a big win, it's an immense win. And I'm so, so proud of it, I really am. I mean, with the, they've got a new manager in, in place this week, there's always going to be the, the push for that. Yep. Um, you know, it's always been history shown that it's been a tough place for Luton Town to come here, but you don't seem to care about records and history for uh, Mansfield away. I was thinking we've won there as well. And, you know, it's well, we're making our own history, yeah. is what we're saying. We make, we, we, history is history, but we're making our own, own pathway now. We want, we want to achieve big things. We've got a group that we think we can do that. So, look. It, it was just brilliant. I mean, some of the football we played at times was, was excellent, but we're, we're a strong side, we're a fit side, and that's a credit to, to the people we have at the club. And then they show a desire to work hard and want to do well and want to win games. And I said, I got him in because I said that's a big win. It's, it's a, you know, it can be a real, real key point of the season. And the second goal, I mean, let's talk about, first of all, sorry, the sending off Alan Sheen. As soon as he put the challenge in, he knew that he was off, didn't he? He's punched the ground in frustration. He's, he's gone in perhaps a bit late and he's, he's, it's a right yellow card for the second. Yeah, and look, he was, he was on an absolute knife edge anyway because of the challenges he's done before. So, last thing we said to him, it, it's, look, he, he, it, was, it was silly. It was a silly thing to do. It was a lack of discipline, really. And we've had a few lack of discipline. It's Glenn Ray last week that we have to cut out because they'll cost us. It will cost us. And I'm not going to let it cost us promotion. But just just silly. And he's, he's disappointed like he is because he's a good pro. Um, but as I said, it gives someone else a chance and we were, we were brave in what we did. But it's, it's a good day, it's a good day. I don't want to rest on any negatives and stuff. I'll deal with those over the weekend and so on. But what a wonderful performance. What a wonderful team spirit to go and to work. And uh, I'm delighted for it. And the team spirit and the work ethic is really there for the winning goal because Jack's had a great strike, he's been well saved, I mean he's had a good run, he's cut in, he's put the shot away, he's done everything right, keeper's made a great save, Danny's gone chasing after it, there's a challenge gone in, he's stayed strong, he's got to the byline and then he's put it on a plate for Jake and Jake's first league goal. Yeah, and uh, is it his first league goal? Mm -hmm. For us you mean, yeah, because he, he, he scored a lot for Hartlepool last year, but as I said, look, we'll, we, we wanted to push, we felt we could win the, still win the game, we wanted to win the game, um, so that's what we did. And I said, Jack's tested the keeper, as he did on a number of occasions today, when we went down to 10 men. Danny's done immense, but we know what we get from Danny, because he is immense. And then that's what Jake does, he arrives, he arrives well, he's the attacking midfield player. We brought him here for that, and, uh, and so I'm delighted for him. And a word on Jack Senior, his first league uh, appearance for Luton Town, or first league appearance full stop, I believe. And, you know, great for a young player that's uh, had the opportunities in the Checker Trade Trophy to show you what he's capable of doing in the, in the starting 11 in the league game, and he's, he's got the chance as a substitute today. Look, if he was two inches taller, he would take absolutely every box for me. Absolutely every box, because there's so much ability, so much character. He's ginger, which I love, <laughs> as I told you, and he's got so much about him. If he was two inches taller, then he would, I think he'd be a top, top player. So he's going to have to overcome 
that, but he does that through his, his ability and his desire to do well, and I'm, I'm delighted for him. And I said, he's come up to me actually and thanked me, I said, yeah, because he's, he's earned that, and he's, he's what we're about here. We give talent opportunity, it's what, it's what talent and opportunity meet, and like he's, he's, I'm, I'm delighted for him, but he, was, he just came on and he was part and parcel of a, of a store, well, of a, of a real rear guard at the end. And I said, we're only under pressure from crosses, but we dealt with them very, very well. Um, and as I said, I'm, I'm very happy man tonight. How much of a sort of calculated risk gamble was it, or, or how positive was it from you to stay with two up top when you were down to ten men? Well, it is. I mean, a lot of people go four, four, one, four, or four, four, one, and then I think it just invites invites the pressure. But we're such a good counter-attacking side anyway that we feel that as long as we work hard, our, our outside men work hard, then we still had a threat on the counter to to have won the game, and that, that, that proves right. But we've done it before. You know, we've done it at Exeter away, we've done it at um, Newport at home and won the game and we've won the game and scored again at Exeter. So, look, it's not something we don't work at, it's not something we don't fire them for, but look, we're, we're a brave side because we want to win games. But it's only brave if they believe in what, 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 so what I, 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 want, I try to do. And they do that every day. And you rung the changes from last week's uh, disappointment from Accrington. Um, Lawson Diaf coming in for his first appearance in a Luton shirt. Yeah, you know, Lawson, he hasn't played much competitive football lately, so he, he needed to get up to speed quickly, and he only does that with games, so it was a gamble. It was a gamble to play him today instead of instead of Jonathan Smith, who's done excellent, but some big games coming up, and Jonathan knows he's an important member for me. Um, so it, it's good for Lawson to get minutes under his belt. Um, and then you know, sort of, you know, the other changes we made were not really enforced, but we, we felt that that was the strongest side we could put out. That was a side that we felt were really going to going to give us something and they were and I thought Pelly Ruddock in the middle of the park was outstanding, absolutely outstanding. I was going to come on to that, we saw him in the Checker Trade Trophy playing in that position that was a surprise but now actually thinking back you think well it was in preparation for today was it? Yeah kind of but I mean I've played him in that many positions he's got he's got to be good at one <laughs> but no look he's, he came here as a as a as a central uh, as a centre half but he has that potency, he has all the characteristics to be a top centre, central midfield player. Mm. What he has to do is make sure his concentration levels, because I love his character, I love his lifestyle, and now he, I, I, well, I love certain parts of his lifestyle, because he's a real sort of good character and a bubbly one, but sometimes that sort of portrays in some of his play, and I don't want it to, but he's, he's adding a maturity, well, I've seen a week's worth of maturity, so let's see if we can't, can't build a, 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 a real good player there. And all in all, a fantastic finish off there. You've gone over to the fans, 995 of them that have been absolutely delighted with the Carol. performance and the result today. They're the best fans in the league and they're, out, they're outstanding. They sang, they, they filled that end. I mean, they're, they're great, great atmosphere. And as I said, they just keep doing it. But the thing I'm going to say is we're a partnership. The team and them, we're a partnership. They give us energy, we give them something to get behind. So it's brilliant, and they'll be they'll be buzzing. I mean, that's, that's a good day. It's a good day for Luton Town today because of, of circumstances and how things went and so on. And it was a big win, and uh, a great great place to come. And it's a good ground for me. I like this ground actually, but great place. It's a great win. Great day. Great day all round, certainly, and we're all buzzing. Thank you very much for your time. So Luton man, Town manager Nathan Jones talking to us live here on Hatters Player. Well, 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 two goals to one. Just how yeah, how big a win it was. Time, if literally, you know, when when you do things, I've been inside, well, just got promoted, and sides have done well, and there's so moments in seasons are a key moment. I think that's a big key moment. I really, really do. To, to be brave and to do what they did, and they followed, you know, they followed the instructions. They believed in what we what we're doing right in front of our own crowd. Just immense, just immense, and that's a big, big win today, and a, and a big moment, I think. This one player that hasn't been mentioned, James Justice, I mean, he's, he's growing experience and, and his performance every time he played. Apart from being a bit wide for the for the first goal, I thought he was impeccable. You know, it's how he gets about. He's young, he's fit, wants to press, he backs himself. That's what we want from a fullback, and the little ginger one is exactly the same. He's exactly the same, wants to go and back himself, wants to go and press, wants to, wants to get on the front foot, and we like that. And, then, and as I said, James has, has got a wonderful career ahead of him if he wants to. Thank you. Thank you.